a topic that we might want to write about? Well, cancer is one I, I think would be good because, you know, we all know people have been affected by cancer in some way. So, yeah. that's, but that's such a big topic. And one of the ways to start narrowing your topic down, and if you're looking at problems, I mean, uh, going to the source of the problem often helps is the answer to eliminating the problem. So Yes, figuring out its causes. Yeah. And I certainly read lots of different things in the news about what the causes of cancer might be. Right. What are some of the uh, common ones? Well, let's not... Let's um, get away from smoking. Everybody knows smoking. But let's just brainstorm and just throw some ideas out there okay. about things you've heard well, lately. No, don't censor ourselves. Let's no. put everything down. Uh, okay, so let's... Do a little clustering here if we have cancer as the topic. Mm -hmm. What are some causes that you've heard of? Oh gosh, uh, well let's go ahead and put smoking down. I mean that's a, okay. that's a common one. Or how about secondhand smoke? Yes, because that's even better. You hear a lot about secondhand smoke. I. Okay, um, one that scares me is cell phones. Cell phone, cell phone usage. Yes. Yeah. How about alcohol? I I have a friend who is afraid of plastics. Plastics causing cancer. Yes, I've heard that you should never microwave something in a plastic container because you could get cancer. Well, even if you look inside a tin can, it's lined with plastic, so it's impossible to get away from the plastics. That's depressing. Um, one I heard on NPR the other day was, did you know this? Artificial light causes cancer. Whoa. And that's everywhere. I have heard that it's not healthy to read on screens into the night because it can disrupt your sleep. Well, we got plenty there. Yeah, that's great. Don't mind my handwriting. Not at all. If we look up articles about these things online, we come up with a lot here. I mean, there's plenty of articles about secondhand smoke, Plenty of articles about cell phones and brain cancer, uh, alcohol, and uh, some new studies about plastics and as a cause of cancer. But this NPR article that you were talking about, mm -hmm. uh, we can go straight back to the source on that because they always publish uh, in writing what uh, stories they publish in their broadcast. Right. So that's interesting. Well, which one should we choose? I mean, we have... Well, now what? that we've brainstormed, I guess the point is to narrow the focus. Uh, okay, well... It would be a pretty boring paper, by the way, if we just had a series of body paragraphs listing every single one of yeah, these things. Yeah, I think we need to... And you know, it, it makes it so much easier to research and to write if you have a very narrow focus. Yeah. You know, I, I wouldn't worry about not having enough material. Right. So if we start uh, now listing this out um, again in a more computer-enhanced form uh, of clustering. looks much nicer than my handwriting. <laughs> uh, we have, what is that, five different five causes? Five different causes. So we need to narrow it down. I, we need to s choose one. Which ones should we get rid of? Well, maybe we can think about putting these into different categories. We could think about... Uh, the behavioral causes versus the environmental causes, and the environmental causes then would be a better fit for our topic since it's a social problem. Right. Um, these are things that are created by the whole society, society rather than living. just individual behavior. So um, I, I like going that direction. That that takes us to three. Okay. Secondhand smoke, plastic, well, and artificial light. Well, the secondhand smoke one, you know, it does seem a little bit overdone. Um, and I would say that's probably a, a problem that's already being solved when you see billboards yeah, around town raising are, consciousness. and. Yeah, I think, yeah. Now, both plastic and artificial light are interesting uh, and fairly new ideas about cancer. I would tend to go with, I mean, I had just heard about artificial light, I think it was last week, so I would... I it's would, fresh. Yeah, it's fresh. It would, okay. It's something that not very many people know about, so I would go with that one. Well, let's definitely choose artificial light as a cause of cancer, uh, and that is going to help us tremendously now in our research. Right.